All right, so I was going to make a fishing video today, but it is freezing and I don't feel like dying of hyperthermia. Um, there's my baby. Um, so instead, I am going to be making a video on my three most favorite plastics, and then I'm going to be giving one of those away. So if you're interested, um, stay tuned and cue intro. Of all time, I'm gonna have to say is going to be the fluke. I absolutely love the fluke. I love the action. You can fish it a couple different ways. You can fish a drop shot. You can fish it um, weedless. Absolutely love it. So basically, um, it, this is as basic as you can get. So I have a hook, and it's got a little uh, keeper on there, and you just Texas rig it. And there's a couple different, uh, actually there's, there's a bunch of different colors that you can use whenever you're uh, setting up the fluke. Um, lo love the little keeper, it helps it stay on. Great, great buy right here. So this fluke is just a shad. Um, this one right here is going to be the uh, bait fish. It's got a bunch of different colors in there. I absolutely love this one. If I had to pick two of them, I would pick this baby uh, bait fish, or excuse me, bait fish, and I would also do the all white. So those two, Texas rigged, and then you, I could work that pretty close to the top water, almost as is top water, or I could let it sink, let it hit the bottom, and then jerk it a couple times, let it fall back down. So those are my two favorite. This is one of my this is my number three favorite uh, plastic. So, going down the list, I'll set those aside real quick. Going down the list, I am going to have to say my next one, it's a two part. My next one's a two part, um, just because of how I started this. So, I live in a smallmouth little community so where we have we have some pretty good smallmouth fishing um, so this is gonna have to be my number two so it's a tube with a 1 16th ounce jig on the inside I absolutely absolutely love this uh, for smallies um, the reaction how it falls letting it jerk and how it swims it's just so erratic I absolutely love it I usually have this in the two sizes. So this is a smaller size, and then I also have the bigger size. Although, take into consideration though, if I'm fishing with the bigger size, I am going to have a less of a hookup ratio because the smaller size is going to populate more of the smaller uh, small mouth. Say that 10 times fast. So, the, the just green pumpkin, black flake, black and purple flake, is what I love. That's my go-to. And then the second part to number two is going to have to be, drum roll everybody, and I'm sure y'all can already see this in my hand, is going to have to be the Ned Rig. We got So the Ned Rig, who does not love the Ned Rig? So this is the Ned Rig if y'all do not know. And I think this is a 1 15th ounce jig head specifically designed for the, sh the, uh, for the Ned Rig. So that's, you see right there, Ned Rig 1 16th ounce black. I like the red one too, just this is what I picked up when I was for making this video. So, right there is the Ned Rig. 
and as I am holding it is how it sits whenever you're fishing it. The Ned Rig actually floats, so there's a couple different ways you can fish this. You can fish it just like the tube, or you can just slide it against the rocks and then it'll pull itself back up. Slide it against the rocks, pull itself back up. Or you can pop it, just pop, pop, pop. But great, great for smallies. If you wanted to do um, a little bit bigger of a profile, there are different uh, companies that make hooks that can accommodate for trying to hook up with a bigger uh, small mouth. Works year round. Um, I have also caught a three pound uh, catfish on this, surprisingly. Just bouncing it off some rocks. I cast it out to a ledge and just worked it, let it bounce down off the rocks. Just and hooked up into a catfish so that was pretty awesome so that is my number two uh, favorite plastic is going to be that too and then like I said this is a combination of both of them just because they almost work exactly the same realistically so there's that and my number one all time favorite plastic is going to be the Cabela's peanut butter and jelly finesse worm. This is the four inch model, but this plastic is literally what got me hooked on fishing. I, it was about two years ago, two going on three, no, three years ago, three years ago that my little brother had asked me uh, to go fishing and of course we hadn't gone since I was since I was very little um, I didn't know what to pick up had watched a bunch of videos uh, I think Lake Fort guy was one of the videos that I watched and he did a special on fishing and he did a special on fishing uh, during harder periods of time and he said to fish wacky um, so for the longest time when my brother was over, we, were, we would say to each other, wacky is the way, wacky is the way, wacky is the way. And we just started messing around with it. Well, finally, we saved up some money, got our fishing license, um, got some poles, some old poles, and went down to this little creek, started fishing the creek, and caught my first uh, PB at that time, which I think was like, I, I want to say it was like a five-pounder, but... Uh, my brother says it was a lot bigger than five pounds. I don't know. Um, anyways, the he picked it up and was holding it. As he turns around to look at me to show me the fish, he uh, drops it. Me thinking, you know, it's okay. It's still hooked. He didn't take the hook out. Started reeling up my rod. And about that time, I noticed that all my line was already reeled up and it had gone yeah the it had broke off the line and the fish was gone so that the moment i was hooked on the fish hunting the fish lunker hunter i was a lunker hunter at that moment so it is all thanks to this worm and fishing wacky and lake ford guy all in that period of time when we had decided that i wanted to go fishing so that is my three most favorite plastics of all time so with that being said I want to take a time I want to take this time to go ahead and give this pack of Cabela's four or excuse me Cabela's six inch finesse worms of the PB and J away I'm going to give these away so all you have to do is like my video subscribe and then follow me on Instagram. So it's going to be cello.delgado on Instagram. Just follow me on Instagram. And once you are finished, comment done. And I will be giving this away on March 1st. March 1st, I will be contacting you to give this to you. So like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Message me done. And then I will be giving this to you. One of you. I'll be selecting. I will be selecting one of you to give this to.